right, welcome to the Outdoor Interiors video series. Today we're going to be talking about our outdoor furniture maintenance kit. The first thing is we're going to go through the contents of the oil maintenance kit. You'll see front and back of everything that is included. First things you may use in your kit is the furniture cleaner. And this can be used not only in hardwood furniture, but also on wicker and sling products as well. So our kit does come with gloves that are really great for using when oiling, but also for when cleaning. We have included the soft cotton rag and we also have the bristle brush. Um, you can pour some into a cup and you can use it for cleaning any areas that have dirt and debris. For the next step, you're gonna see everything that you need for oiling your furniture. So we're gonna start by filling our reservoir or our container um, that can be reused with this sponge application. And this is a great way to apply the hardwood oil to your furniture. It goes on easily and always oil with the grain. You can of course come off to the side, but this is a great way to start your oiling project. that has crevices or areas that are hard to reach, you can also use the brush that's been included. After oiling your furniture, allow the surface area to dry for about 20, 25 minutes or so, depending upon your climate. If it's humid outside, it might take a little longer but don't allow it to dry fully. You're gonna to wanna to use another soft cotton rag to wipe off all the excess. A lot of the hardwood furniture that's available in the marketplace has various sling and all weather wicker products that have been blended into the hardwoods. When oiling, if you were to get oil on either of these polyurethane type products, there is no issue, they wipe clean, and as long as you get off any excess oils that have been applied during your oiling, you'll have no issues. Just So there are several parts of your oil kit that can be reused, like this sponge that can be placed back in its container and sealed up. Your brush can be cleaned up and reused at another time. And the most important thing is with oil soaked rags, they should be disposed of properly, putting them away in like a Ziploc plastic bag when throwing into the trash is probably a good idea to protect it from any type of flame or fire. One of the primary reasons we oil and maintain our outdoor patio furniture is to condition and preserve the finish. You may be asking yourself, how many times a year do I need to oil my outdoor patio furniture? And the answer is, it really depends upon how much sunlight your patio furniture will be in versus say a covered patio and that can vary between two and four times a year. Lastly, the frequency of oil applications really depends upon your climate and where you live. If you're in a drier, more desert-like climate, your furniture is gonna show you telltale signs that it needs more oil. And if you're in a covered patio or in a more humid climate, it might be just the opposite.